Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. As my account continues to grow, we have some new faces around here. So I thought it'd be fun to do a get right with me while also I answer questions that y'all ask me on TikTok as I get to know me. But if you are new to my channel, I definitely recommend subscribing and let's get started. I will start off by saying in the video, I am congested for whatever reason. I just randomly got this huge amount of congestion. I sound a little weird, so just please ignore that. I have all the questions on my phone, so let's start getting ready. I'm also getting ready to go to the store sale, so we are going somewhere today. So I got this question asked twice, and they just asked how old am I? I am 20 years old. I turned 21 August 15th. I love my birthday because I love summer, so I love being somewhere warm for my birthday. August is such like a prime weather time. The next question I got was advice for a healthy relationship. And not to be that person, but my boyfriend and I hardly ever fight. And if we do go into any sort of like disagreement, I feel like the number one advice I have for you is communication. In the past, I used to like just never talk about my problems. I would just like sit on them and let them bottle up until it all explode at one point in time and then it just would blow up in my face. As soon as there is a problem or any disagreement to talk about it then and there. Right after an argument? Absolutely not. I feel like right after an argument you are still very upset and you can end up saying things that you don't mean or have thoughts that you don't really have. Sit with those thoughts, come back in like an hour or two after you've calmed down some and then talk out the issue. That's like the healthiest advice I can give you all. Someone said beard slash fun facts. I should have been more prepared when I was making this video because I did not think of any but I guess We'll think about it while I do my skin tint. I don't know if you'd say this is weird or not, but I love when my room is messy just so I can clean it. I know some people despise and like hate cleaning, but I think it's so therapeutic and I just love when there's like a mess that I can tackle. Like I just know when I buy my house, it's gonna be spick and span every single day and please expect every single Sunday reset. I already know they're coming, but I just love a good mess that I can tackle and clean. And I just know every time I tell someone that, they're like, you enjoy cleaning. Like it's a complete shock to them for whatever reason. If I had to think of like a weird fun fact, that would be it. With this little sickness I have, my lips have been so dry. I'm using the Summer Fridays Butter Balm. This is the birthday kick on just to get my lips moisturized. We love her. Next question is what made you become a social media influencer? Honestly, I've always loved doing social media since I was like 10. The video's private by now because it's so cringe and I literally, I was filming on like this huge tablet and someone should have took that tablet away from me solely because of the fact that I was like giving out my address and like what school I was going to at 10. And like the video was up for like years until I'm like, oh girl, like we should not be saying what school we're going to in case there's any creeps online preying on you. Probably should have been monitored when I first started. But once again, I first started when I was 10 going into sixth grade and if y'all remember earlier I said I had an August birthday so I hadn't turned 11 yet but I was 10 just giving out my address online I just like always loved making videos especially the editing part I love finding new effects and editors I never had a lot of money growing up so I would literally find jailbroken editors and like it worked y'all I would be up to like three o'clock in the morning finding like jailbroken editors and like hacks to like get these like expensive editors for free that's what I did in my free time on like the summer breaks and they worked too so props to myself for that one I just have always loved doing social media I've always loved filming videos, editing them. Everybody in like our family was like good for something. That was my strong suit. One thing is I wasn't really consistent. I keep trying and I wouldn't like see fast results, which I feel like with social media and people don't understand is you are not gonna see fast results no matter how hard, especially if you were just specifically trying to go in there for fame and for money. We're gonna see right through that and not follow you whatsoever. So that's another social media trick. A lot of the times I'll see like TikTokers be like, oh my goodness, this is like my five month journey. And then they'll do like a edit showing like how much they've grown. And then it's like an edit of them when they were like 10, 12 on YouTube. So it really isn't like a four month period that they're growing so fast. They have been doing it a lot longer, but they're just now recently putting in the effort and calling it their success story. Not like hating anybody's grind, like, you know, do as you please. But I see that a lot and I feel like it discourages a lot of people saying, oh, I've gotten this far, this far in a couple months. They've realistically have been doing it for so many years. They're just not saying it. Like I've seen multiple creators do that and I feel like it's just so disheartening. And I kind of like try to like, oh my goodness, she did that in four months. Why have I not seen anything? But they're really not telling you that they've done it a lot longer. They're sugarcoating it to make it seem like it's somewhat easy. And I feel like for the long route, you really gotta put in the effort. It's not gonna be easy breezy beautiful. It's one of those things where you have to put time and effort into it. And if you can do that, it's meant for you. And also look, you cannot force it. If you do not like content creating, you can't force yourself to like it. Next question though. Someone says, what are your go-to hair products? I wanna make a video solely to this, but I'm not gonna be like, guys, part two, wait for it. I'm gonna show you all this video. These are like my four hair products that I have been using and loving. Pattern Jojoba Oil. This like leaves my hair so soft. 
love the curls. It looks so juicy, so bouncy, so healthy. Using this, I usually just do two pumps and I grab it on my curls after they're like somewhat dry. And this helps it dry a little bit faster and they just look so voluminous, so beautiful. For my recent curls, I used the Yuka app, not sponsored whatsoever. But I love that app because it tells me what products are good for my skin, my hair, my body. Also food. It works with food, which is really surprising. But I use this app and it scanned so well. It's the Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. My curls have been absolutely eating like recently. This is what I've been using and I just use a little bit and it's just chef's kiss every single time. I'm on my hair growth journey. I'm not dyeing my hair anymore just because I want to save money and I want to get my hair healthy. This is what I have been using to get my hair as long as it is now. She has been rapidly growing my hair and it's quite insane. And they have a lighter version for like different types of hair so would recommend. And for my slick back look I'm wearing today I've been using the Eco Styling Gel. This is their black caster and flaxseed gel and I think black caster is actually good for your hair for like hair growth and just healthy hair overall so would recommend that. And those are just a few of the hair products that I've been using. That highlighter blends so beautifully. I hate using cream or liquid highlighters but that one she eats down every single time. I love Iconic London and she is not talked about as much as she should be. Someone next said what are your plans for the future? I get stressed thinking about my future but I'm also like not stressed. I don't know. I go back and forth. We're gonna set my face while I talk about this question. This is my favorite setting powder recently. We're gonna set it and then we'll go on with my powder products. Call me cheesy. Call me corny. Literally hate on me if you want. My biggest goal future wise is I want to be a mom. Always wanted to be a mom especially for the fact that I like I didn't really have a mother figure growing up besides like my grandma so I always wanted to be the mom but I didn't have. For career wise I'm not sure yet. I feel like I'm just like stuck about what I want to do. It'd be super cool to do it full time but I feel like you have to find like a backup because social media can die anytime. You can fall off at any point in time and I feel like it'd be so scary relying on something especially if it's not gonna last. Always wanted to own my own business and be a business owner so I feel like I would want to do something with that in the future. That would be honestly super cool. That's like my number one goal. For career wise I'm still trying to figure it out but I definitely would love to be a mom especially I think like kid wise it'd be like three to four kids. I would love to say three but I feel like with like amusement parks and any sort of thing like that you need an even number and with like a two parent household that's like five if you have three kids. So I feel like four would be good because I'm like they can like be buddy buddies. Someone said what are your goals? Kind of explained it with that last question so those kind of like mixed in two together. Mom, business owner. I just want to be happy in life. I want to buy a house. That's like my biggest goal at the moment. I want to buy a house next year which I definitely have been saving. I've been saving, working hard. I've been like really like, back on like all of my random shopping sprees. A lot of them that I have been like randomly shopping for have all had a purpose or I can use it for a tax write-off. The next question is someone asked me what my favorite hair products are which I kind of showed earlier but I definitely would say that Shea Moisture product that I showed has definitely been one of my favorite products recently. Someone said what inspired you to go into content creating. So I feel like a lot of these questions like kind of go back to each other. They all link in some sort of way. I've always loved doing content creating. I think like honestly watching like YouTube growing up and like seeing them just like make videos and like their editing styles that's really always has entertained me i just love watching people edit and i'm like thinking i know how they make that i think that's definitely been a big inspiration and honestly just like seeing how far people go with content creating and being able to go on like different travel opportunities like the tart board board trip or like any brand trip i think is super cool obviously it's not all about experiences and about money and traveling and stuff i'm thinking it's such like a cool opportunity that like you make a video about yourself like just getting ready like we're doing now and then it can turn into something so much bigger Someone says, where do you get all your cute clothes? Honestly, thank you. I take such pride in how I dress. I've been really trying to figure out a style that I like and not just buy clothes that I think are cute and then never wear them. Okay, we're setting my face and I'll answer that question. This shirt is literally from PJ Maxx. It was $10. It's like from the brand Sincerely Jewels, which I really do like. A lot of my clothes are from PJ Maxx and we'll be honest with y'all, I love going thrifting for a lot of my stuff. Lululemon has been eating up my wallet recently. I just love their athletic stuff. And I would say a good portion of my clothes are from TJ Maxx, which is kind of like not helpful. Airy. I can eat down from some airy clothes. My pockets cannot. Like, it would chew up my pockets and literally make me broke and have zip dollars in my account. I absolutely love airy. So that's pretty much where I get most of my clothes. Someone says, what is your favorite makeup brand? Recently, I have been on a Say kick. Y'all know this. I just have been eat, sleep, and breathing Say products. For whatever reason, I got on the wagon way late. Those have been some of my recent favorite products. Say and Iconic London are like my top two favorite makeup brands. Next question is, how do you healthily balance your friendships, relationship, work, content creating, family time, and all of that? I I have been like not too good at it recently. I used to do like content creating and focusing on making content every single day, 5, 6 p.m. until like 10 o'clock and then go home, go to sleep and it'd be a cycle every single day until I decided that it's not healthy to do that. And I wanted to spend time with my boyfriend, my family, my sister, granny. Granny? Here's my granny. She just turned 75. Who knows if she'll make it to 76. So I'll... 
<laughs> with that like my boyfriend's family has like family dinners for like birthdays and stuff I definitely take time and be like I'm gonna show up to those I feel like a number one thing with content creating is you have to figure out a way to turn yourself off I know social media is like a full-time 24 7 job same with like owning a business if, like those two go hand in hand where it's like those are the things that are constant in, like a nine to five where you just clock out and don't come at me because I know social media and a nine to five do not compare I literally have a nine to five where I can clock out but balancing both of those can be a little hard I don't want to sit on here and whine about it because content creating really is not something where it's like performing a surgery and I never would want to compare it to like a nine to five where people actually have like so much to do I feel like with a good balance content creating is not hard all people who complain about it online being like it's so hard I have this to do I have this to do they just can't balance properly it literally is just them not having time management and I hate to say it to them once you have time management content creating and like balancing that is literally the easiest thing to do in the entire world I also like to dedicate a day to specifically no content creating usually I pick a Friday just because I'm off work and my boyfriend and I. Woo! It sounded so nasally. My boyfriend and I usually just like do whatever, but I don't like do any content. I don't check anything on there, like no emails, nothing. I feel like that's like the healthiest way to do it. You just gotta figure out a time. Like yesterday was my grandma's birthday party, which I pulled together, and I did not focus on like posting two to three times on TikTok. I posted my one TikTok call today, and if I didn't have time to do that one TikTok, I wouldn't have stressed about it because I know when I can. I don't need to be like, okay, Kinsey. But your grandma's not gonna be here forever. I hate to break it to you, that's like the sad truth about it, but she's not gonna be here forever. So would you rather like make a video that could get a lot of views or spend time with your grandma at her birthday party and that's how i kind of like think about it. like oh i'm not gonna be this young and like be able to do this opportunity for so long if i can get content out of it sure but like i'm not gonna kill myself over content which i used to do and it was like the worst time and i hated making content because of it but after finding time management and a balance and the last question i got was favorite sunscreen slash skincare product i'm gonna do a full skin prep routine video coming very soon for my discoloration spots i do have some dark spots on my face i absolutely love this by good molecules it's so affordable and it's so good i have been loving the new ordinary hyaluronic serum i think it is so much better than the old one but i already changed about it absolutely eats down now and lastly i've been loving this kosas spray on serum whatever's in it like it's such a refreshing mist and i absolutely love it thank y'all for joining my get ready with me if y'all enjoyed this video want to see another one definitely let me know by liking this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye hey it's me